takes extraordinary men to take on extraordinary challenges. Where building a path seems impossible, brave men have created highways and opened up frontiers. The Border Roads organization is made up of people who've put in their sweat and blood with a never say die attitude. Sharmena Sarabam Satya is the motto of BRO that helped achieve marvels across India, especially in the toughest and most challenging areas of high altitude mountains of Ladakh, dense forests of Arunachal Pradesh, or in the scorching temperatures of Thar. The necessity of border roads organization goes back to 1960 that a decision was finally taken and people formed the nucleus of an organization that started with two projects. The organization currently boasts of 36,000 engineers and administrators with a lakh plus casual laborers working on 18 projects. BRO came into being as Border Roads Development Board in May 1960 with the objective of developing road networks in the north and northeast regions of India. The Prime Minister acted as chairman and the Defence Minister was the deputy chairman. The board mutated into the BRO and became a department of the Government of India under the Ministry of Defence with the Defence Minister acting as chairman from a humble beginning of two projects, namely CE Nefa, later Tusker and now Vartak in the east and CE Ladakh, now Beacon in the north. BRO has grown to be a vibrant organization with 18 projects having strategic reach covering entire India. Project Dantek was raised in 1961 at Devthang, Bhutan exclusively for undertaking infrastructure development works in Bhutan. BRO has a strategic reach in Tajikistan as well, where it is working in alliance with Tajikistan government and presently undertaking the prestigious work of construction and development of an H-lane highway. The four C's exemplify BRO core values, that is, courage, competence, confidence and commitment that have propelled it to take on the mightiest challenges and succeed where others would have simply shelved a task. It has a well-knit unit solely tasked with emergency response to keep roads in the vulnerable areas of northeast and the north free of obstructions such as snowfalls and landslides. In addition, in the event of natural calamities, BRO has a fast response team that swings into action to initiate rescue and repair procedures. In its 60 years of service to the nation, BRO has constructed 60,000 kilometers of roads, 693 bridges, 19 airfields and the longest tunnel in the world, above 10,000 feet. The BRO Karma Yogis are presently involved in construction of 6,000 kilometers of roads, 257 bridges and two airfields and four tunnels to include one underwater tunnel across the Brahmaputra River. Our projects are working under extreme challenges of punitive, uncongenial and nail-biting conditions augmented with limited working seasons Remoteness of work sites infested with insurgency. Our tasks became more complex and Herculean since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite all these constraints, we achieved unprecedented milestones in the year gone by. True to our work philosophy of, we will either find a way or make one. BRO is assisting MORTH in construction of the Chardham All-Weather Road project in Uttarakhand. The stated aim of the project is to improve the accessibility to Chardham shrines, namely Yamanotri, Gangotri, Badrinath and Kedarnath. The total length of the project is approximately 900 kilometers, out of which 249.79 kilometers had been entrusted to BRO 
and connectivity achieved. BRO is now credited with adding another feather in its cap for constructing the world's longest tunnel above an altitude of 10,000 feet. The tunnel is 9 kilometers long, 10.5 meters wide. This impossibility was turned into a reality with renewed focus from the government and the highest priority accorded by the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi. The tunnel was named as Atal Tunnel, Rohtang, as a tribute to former Prime Minister Bharat Ratna Sri Atal Bihari Bajpayee by the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. With the inauguration of Atal Tunnel Rohtang on 3rd October 2020 by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, the tunnel has given a boost to armed forces strategic interests and has provided much needed connectivity and additional avenues of employment generation through tourism to the people of Himachal Pradesh and Ladakh. It is an under construction road tunnel at 9,800 feet which will ensure all weather connectivity between Guwahati in Assam and Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh. The tunnel is being excavated below the 13,800 feet high Sela Pass on NH13. It will reduce the distance between Dairang and Tawang by 10 kilometers. Union Defence Minister Honorable Sri Rajnath Singhji laid the foundation stone of Nechepu Tunnel on the Balipara Chardwar Tawang BCT Road in West Kameng district of Arunachal Pradesh on 12th October 2020. The work on both Sela and Nechipu tunnels is in full swing. A total of 56 bridges were inaugurated in the year 2020-2021, out of which 41 are in northwestern sector and 15 in eastern sector. It is a matter of great pride that out of these 56 bridges, Honorable Raksha Mantri Sri Rajnath Singh Ji dedicated to the nation 44 bridges of length 3,506 meters through e-inauguration on 12th October 2020. 75 infrastructures to include 12 roads and 63 bridges are ready for inauguration in the near future. Promoting new technology and make an India philosophy of the governance and guidelines of Atmanirbhar Abhiyan of PMO, BRO constructed the first ever double lane modular bridge at an altitude of 11,000 feet on Flag Hill Dogla Road on 14 February 2021, wherein bridge was fabricated by GRSE and steel from Steel Authority of India, SAIL, was used. Two bridges have been launched as of now, one in Uttarakhand and the other in Sikkim. More are in the pipeline in the near future. The work on the 2.4 km runway at Barakpur and 3.5 km runway at Bagdogra is under full swing along with associated ancillary works and are likely to be completed within this financial year. BRO executed snow clearance works on 149 roads. A total of 3,965 km of snow clearance was carried out. The highlight of snow clearance activity was opening of Leh Manali Axis on 28 March 2021 for traffic, which is two months before schedule. The BRO warriors have toiled hard in extreme high altitude areas and braved bone chilling cold and have ensured this year that various strategic passes were kept open. Zojila Pass for the first time in the history of the country was kept open till 31st December 2020, thus providing much needed connectivity to the forces deployed in Ladakh and the flow of economic resources to its population. Also for the first time in history, Zojila Pass was opened in the month of February and then finally on 21st April against traditional norms of May shrinking the time of closure of pass from 150 days to 110 days. Six strategic passes, three each in JNK, Sadhna Pass, Bharkiyagali, Zamidar Gali and Uttarakhand, Rimki, Niti and Naga Pass 
were kept open throughout the year, which traditionally were being closed and opened in April to May every year. The BRO has proven its mettle by proactively participating in rescue and relief operations in Uttarakhand, Ladakh, Himachal Pradesh and JNK. Specifically in Joshimath area, which has witnessed a series of unfortunate natural calamities, BRO contributed by constructing the Bridge of Compassion at Rainy Village to restore connectivity at the earliest and rendered successful evacuation of 109 personnel. Lay-bound 117 passenger vehicles carrying 747 persons were stranded in the season's heaviest snowfall at 16,000 feet height at Baralachala Pass for 13 days. BRO helped them in traversing Baralachala Pass. It is our endeavour to be a socially responsible force. We constructed equipment bridges at Barapani on Shillong Bypass Road in West Bengal and at Tarna on Chadwal Symbol Road, which connects JNK and Punjab. Road safety awareness drives. There is no denying the fact that the hilly areas are full of scenic sights, along with pleasant chilly weather, which motivates people to embark on road trips. Being omnipresent in such areas, we take the onus on ourselves to educate the locals and tourists on road safety by conducting road safety seminars and drives. Our quest for new technologies remains unparalleled for providing stable hill slopes and safe roads. We've incorporated technologies like geocells and geowebs for expeditious construction of retaining walls and breast walls along with geosynthesis for stable hill slopes. Cementitious base for pavements and use of plastic coated aggregates are some of the latest technologies used for construction of roads at remote location. Superimposing these technologies with the latest construction equipment like spider excavator, DC 400, pulverizer, motor grader are giving a boost to our endeavor of providing safe and good quality roads for the commuters. BRO is a viable and dependable infrastructure construction agency. We are not only undertaking works for MOD, but constantly engaged by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of External Affairs for construction of roads for ITBP, BSF, Assam Rifles and for friendly foreign countries. The bravery and sacrifices made by our warriors at the remote border areas needs no validation. We pay homage to all Karma Yogis who laid down their lives in the line of duty in the highest tradition of the BRO. As the Border Roads Organization completes 61 years of dedicated service to the nation today, we rededicate ourselves to the furtherance of our great nation.